In the next hour, families are locked in a face-off. Hey, my man, did I work so hard for? And only the test results on Mari <laughs> can expose the real truth. Text messages. She gave me her number. So why would you take it? Nude photos. Let's talk about double, triple X. Boxer shorts. It gets so much worse. And lie detector tests. Josh is furious that the woman he loves is cheating on him with another man. Kevin, I can't take this anymore. His brother, Zach. How come I found your underwear under my pillow? Underwear you know like what? It was a mistake. Two brothers at war. Why don't you be the man that mom and dad raised us to be? And one lie detector test that will expose everything. The lie detector test determined. Shandy has a history of men cheating on her. I am here to represent for the lady. Now she's worried her fiance Drake is having sex with other women. He was going to deliver a washer and dryer to Texas, but I think he was up in Tulsa banging his. Does Drake have a secret life with another family? Oh, she's like a shadow. She's right behind me. Come on, yeah. Michelle, and go everywhere with Barack, don't she? You need a break. <laughs> or has Shandy's past made her paranoid? The lie detector determined. Patrick was put into a room with a sexy undercover decoy. Oh, God! That is so bad! They are engaged to be married. <laughs> but what will they be after the lie detector results come out? The lie detector said... <laughs> See how all the evidence stacks up on this hour of cheating. Everyone, this is Josh. Welcome, Josh, to this show. So... Josh has always lived by the motto, family first. So when his brother Zach lost his job, found himself homeless, Josh invited Zach to live with him and his girlfriend, Catherine. <laughs> now it's three months later, and Josh thinks that he and Zach are sharing a lot more than a home. In fact, Josh says his own brother Zach is having a scandalous affair with his girlfriend, Catherine. <laughs> I've been together for seven years. I wake up every morning to see just pure love in her eyes because she's my only desire. I wanted my child to learn the example of true love from his mother and I, but today I don't know if that's going to happen. I'm a nurse at a hospital. I work with kids that have cancer. While I'm at work taking care of these sick, precious children, I fear that my own brother is at home taking care of my girlfriend with sex acts. I have found my brother's boxers in my own bed, and I have found my girlfriend's lingerie in his bed. It gets so much worse. A naked picture of my brother's penis was in my girlfriend's phone. And I won't take this anymore. Love is not supposed to hurt you. It's supposed to be patient, and it's supposed to be kind. Wow. You and your brother used to be so close. What happened? I took him in off the street, people. I gave him what I thought he needed. We laughed together, we cried together. How can he do this to me? I looked every day, I took him in off those streets. I said, I'm giving you a home so you can give me some respect and not share these guys. Come on. Well, wait a minute, sir. I mean, maybe it's in your imagination. I mean, My imagination, Marge. How about you go in your brother's room and you find a condom that's dirty in his floor? You think that's imagination? No, I call that reality. Because, by the way, you you don't use condoms because you're allergic to them. Absolutely, I'm allergic. Mark. Then you found text messages. He was talking about, oh, I can't wait till Josh leaves and goes to work. Oh, wow. <laughs> Because everybody ought to know, you work like 70, 80 hours a week helping cancer kids yes, sir, I, I in the put, hospital. I'm sitting there. Mari, I put my life, every day I put my life into helping these little children. I go home to work so I can provide for her and my son because they mean the world to me. They're everything to me. And, and when I look at these precious children that don't have a life, that don't have opportunities that I have and that he has because he's not acting like the person that our mom and dad raised us to be. So, what's it like in the house right now? It's hectic, you know, because that's my brother and that's going to be my Do girl. Do you talk to your brother? Uh, yeah, I talk to him because he's my brother, but I love her with all my heart. They both deny all this. Yes, sir, I do know that. And you know, and, and, and everybody ought to know, in your bed, you found his boxers. Yes, sir. And in, 
And in his bed, you found her. I found her lingerie that I had just bought her. You looked in the phone, what did you find? I found an unopened picture mail of his penis. But you know what he said? He says, I got a lot of girls in my phone. I always send stuff to the hoes. Well, why is my girlfriend one of your hoes? You know what I'm saying? I had not endorsed my bra. Okay. But you know, Catherine has answers to everything, and we're going to find out. Here's Catherine, everybody. <laughs> Dang well, I don't cheat on you, so why do you mean? I can speak louder than words. Really? When I work two jobs? Who cares if you work two jobs? I found your stuff. I found your stuff in his bed. I found the car in my bed that I worked so hard for. I mean, I'm kidding. I work two jobs. Thank you for time. I want to talk to you, Catherine, okay? Maybe we can straighten this out right here. You say every single thing he's talking about has nothing to do with you and his brother. Me and his brother, I don't do anything. Let me ask you this. How did your lingerie get in his bed? Well, see, when Josh ain't home and I'm not home, Zach does the laundry. He takes it out. He folds all the clothes. Right. Okay. Oh, he folds all the clothes. Why don't he ever do it when I am there? He is 24 years old. I'm 19. And look who's being a bigger man. Look who's being a bigger man, folks. Let's see, Josh. Huh? When I ask you to do something, you don't do it. So I ask Kimmy, it's off his butt and does it. Oh, I guess that's what you say when we don't have sex, too. Hey, come over here and do this. Actually, no, I'm sorry. I do not. Now, Catherine, wait a second. What do you think of Zach? Zach is my brother. Zach? I love Zach as a brother, and that's it. And he even knows that. How about the way, did sex. he send a picture of his private parts to if your phone? If he did, Aunt Mari, I did not know about it. I left my phone at home. Mistake. I got the phone. It was an, un it was an unopened picture, but she hadn't looked at it yet. She had not looked at it yet. Exactly, Josh. I left my phone home, so I ain't got to deal with it 24-7 while how I'm about, at the hospital there Catherine, saying. How about, how about all those text messages? All the messages he sends me say is, hey, what are you doing? What's for dinner? Do I need to cook? How do you think this makes me food? feel? The last seven years, we ain't no regular relationship. You know, this is love at first sight. I met her in kindergarten when she was in second grade, people. I, f I feel so strong for you, Catherine. I can't take this anymore. I love you with all my heart. I'd do anything. I wake up every morning with only you on my mind because I know that you're not just any girl. You're my lover and my soulmate. If you thought that, then you wouldn't constantly accuse me and bring up my past. Okay, well, how about this? What if you found what if you found my underwear in your sister's room? What would you I think? I would come ask you. I wouldn't go for accusing. I would ask you, and I would ask her and say, All right, off. everybody, I think it's time to meet the brother. This is what Zach had to say. I'm really pissed off at this current situation. Josh is trying to make me look like a dumbass, and I'm not going to have it. Listen, I would never touch Catherine. She's my brother's girlfriend. She's off limits like Michelle Obama. I'm a good looking guy. I have girls coming over to the house all the time to hang out with me. I practice safe sex. You gotta wrap it up. That's where the condom came from. I admit my boxers were in his bed because I bring girls in there to get busy with. I like big women and Josh's bed gives me a little more cushion for the pushing. In the picture he found on Catherine's cell phone, I meant to text another female who asked me for a picture of my head, and I was like, which one? I'm a jokester by nature. I'm just being myself. Josh needs to lighten up them loafers. Everybody, here's Big Brother Zach. <laughs> How come I found a condom in my bed? How come I found your underwear under my pillow? Underwear? You know I laid my head down. It was a mistake. I'm sorry, disrespect. Yeah, maybe taking you into my home was a mistake too, Zach. Okay, have a seat. Zach, nice to see you. Good to see you. Hey, Zach. So let me get this straight. You used your brother's bed because it was a better bed. We have a water well, bed, Maury, and he has a regular bed. Oh, oh yeah. Let's have a water bed because we can do the work. <laughs> we can do the work. He put that water in my girlfriend. This is unacceptable. Oh, Josh, you know, I would never, I would never I want to cheat tell you something. on you. In all my years, this is the wildest definition of brotherly love I've ever seen. Oh, you just have to get the house, Maury. It's horrible. Zach. You know, there's time for joke, and your brother's taking this seriously. I know. And that's the thing. You know, with the whole bed thing, I have a queen-size bed. Yeah, that's like, okay, let's cuddle. 
found out they had a California King waterbed, I was like, <laughs> come on, get me on that right now. I found out that you didn't have a job, so I basically took my shirt off to put it on you. And this is what I get? Come on, why don't you be the man that mom and dad raised us to be? So, you sent a naked picture uh, on the phone, right? It wasn't yeah, a it joke. Was a joke. Her. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Okay. Really? Okay. Why really? my phone when you know I'm not doing crap for him, Josh? Yeah, it was an unopened picture message, but I guess he says, oh, it's for one of my hoes. Why is my girlfriend in your phone? It's one of your hoes. This is my life. My life. I'm getting married to her in two weeks. Did y'all know we have a nine month old? In order to clear everything up, we ought to Let's have Let's get the these results. One more thing, Zach, if I find anything that you're having sex with my girlfriend, you better get ready to live in the cardboard box because you're going back to it. Might as well. Might as well. During your relationship with Josh, have you ever had any sexual contact of any kind with his brother, Zach? Yeah. No. You said no. The lie detector test determined. Two brothers at war and one lie detector test that will expose everything. The lie detector test determined. And the shocking results are in. Shandy has a history of men cheating on her. I am here to represent for the ladies. Now she's worried her fiance Drake is having sex with other women. He was going to deliver a wash and dryer to Texas, but I think he was up in Tulsa banging his She found naked photos on his phone. Not status, okay? <laughs> Does Drake have a secret life with another family? Oh, she's like a shadow. She's right behind me. Come on. I'm... Michelle would go everywhere with Barack, don't she? You need a break. <laughs> or has Shandy's past made her paranoid? The lie detector determined. <laughs>
He sneaks out of the house? Sneaks out, says, oh, I'm just running around the corner. At this time, I'll be back at this time. You know what I do? What? I hop in my truck to see if he's around the corner. Oh, what's his buddy say? He ain't been over here. Well, where is he? Where is he? You think he's making breakfast for other women. Oh, let me tell you about a text that I read that just blew my mind, Maury. First of all, we all know the early bird gets the worm. We know that. Right. So how's it appropriate for you to send a text that says the early bird gets the worm, let me come cook you breakfast in bed, when you got your woman at home? Do you need to be cooking anybody breakfast in bed? It needs to be me. What did he say? Oh, what did he say? Yeah. He says, he says that the breakfast in bed, the early bird gets the worm is because of something he was commenting on Facebook about. You leave the comment on Facebook, you don't go to her cell phone with that. So you do you, not go to nobody's phone with that. So you really think that he has a secret double life, that he has some family somewhere? He goes to McDonald's. Evidently, he comes back. I said, I get in the car, I said, where's this Happy Meal come from? Oh, I don't know whose Happy Meal it is. With not a boy toy for my son, but it had a girl toy in it. So whose Happy Meal is it? I wasn't too happy about the Happy Meal more. No, you, I guess Not you, at all. I got you. You're supposed to be happy about a Happy Meal. I wasn't. Drake has a completely different story to tell. Watch this. Cindy made me wait two years before we got serious. She wanted to make sure I wouldn't hurt her, and I understood that. But then she started accusing me of cheating on her. I had to go out of town to drop off a wash and dryer to my family member. I ended up spending the night. Then Shandy turned that into me sleeping with an ex-girlfriend. One day I took Shandy's car and bought myself a Happy Meal. So I left the toy in the back seat for Shandy's son. Now Shandy thinks I have a secret family. It's ridiculous. Once I pass this lie to take the test, she needs to stop accusing me of things I'm not doing. All right, everybody, here's Drake. Welcome, Drake. Oh! 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 Oh, please. Please. Oh, please. No, no. Sorry, I need to move my seat. No, no, no. I don't want to sit next to him until I get these results. How Drake, how could I cheat? How you could love I this cheat? girl, don't love you? Love her to death. I know you love do, because death. guess what? You waited two years. Two years, yes. I love her to death. She's like a shadow. She's like a shadow. She's right behind me. Come I, on. I go to the store. She's right here. I go around Come the corner. On. She's right here. Am I your woman, Michelle? And go everywhere with Barack, don't she? You need a break. <laughs> Am I so your you woman? Need a break. You need a break. Am I your woman? Come on. That's smuggling somebody. <laughs> Right. He wanted to be around. Yeah, he wouldn't know, have a know. problem I'm, with it. I, I, so if I, you don't want me Drake. around, I bet you somebody else won't complain not about move, it. Hey, not every move I make. Not Drake. every move I make. She thinks you have a secret family. Secret family? Yeah, secret I have family. Secret, other kids, family. Other kids, other woman, all that kind of exactly. stuff. A secret family? With that, yeah. yeah, with that she's, Happy she's, Meal wrapper in the back. How could you say the Happy Meal was, she, for my, was for the little boy when it was a girl toy? I got a son. A secret family? She know everything about my family. I got kids. She know everything about my family. He ain't gonna play with no little girl happy meal So when do I have time to have a have a He don't play with Barbies. We're about to find out the truth. I need it. I need it, and I need it now. Tonight, today is the day, like I said, it all stops. We got it right here. The cues and the line all. We asked you, are you having sexual intercourse with any of your ex girlfriends? You said no. The lie detector determined. That's a lie. Machine is broke. We it's asked you, we it's asked you a yeah. relationship with another woman that Shandy does not know about. You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. That was a lie. <laughs> hey. Shandy. Hey. Nikita's fiance Patrick is planning to adopt her daughter on their wedding day. The first thing she told him was daddy. She found messages from other women online. I love you. I want to have your baby. Patrick was put into a room with a sexy undercover decoy. Oh, God! That is so bad! She gave me her number. So why would you take it? They are engaged to be married. <laughs> but what will they be after the lie detector results come out? The lie detector said... Patrick had what? Because we can do the work, bro. The evidence continues to stack up on this hour of cheating.
Everyone, this is Nikita. Welcome, Nikita, to the show. Backstage, backstage is the man that Nikita loves. His name is Patrick. In two weeks, this couple's life is supposed to change forever. They're supposed to get married, and on the same day, Patrick wants to officially adopt Nikita's two-year-old daughter. Aww. Nikita says, none of this will happen if he can't pass a lie detector test that will prove that Patrick did not cheat on the over 100 different women that Nikita thinks he's cheated with. She also thinks he gets money in exchange for sex. Your life began when you met this guy. He was my, my daughter. He met my daughter. She was six months old. My daughter never had a dad. But she's never had a dad. And the first thing she told him was daddy. And ever since then, my, they've been in love. Like, that's his baby. My daughter, my daughter. That's his baby. My daughter every day. Dad, daddy, it's not mommy. It's nothing to do with mommy. It's daddy. It's and daddy. he's going to adopt? Your child. He's with the, he's trying to and you it. say it's not going to happen. It's not. I can't be. I can't explain to my child that her dad's cheating on him, on me. I can't do that. There are all these messages from all these women on Facebook. We were supposed to trust each other. Right. So I gave him my password. He gave me his. I went on there. <coughs> every different messages, different messages, over and over again. It was. It was. I love you. I want to have your baby. Whoa. Let's get married. Let's do this. What did he say what about you, all you? that? What? What? Who? Huh? What? Wait, what? This is what your man Patrick has this to say. I would describe my relationship with Nikita as lovey-dovey. We've been together for two years, and she's my world. I'm also about to legally adopt her daughter from a previous relationship. I love that little girl. We set a date to get married in two weeks. And seven months ago, we had our first son. I admit to being intimate with one of her friends, but that was the biggest mistake I ever made, because now my family's on the line. I'll be the first to admit that I message girls on Facebook, but they just friends, Facebook friends. Everyone has them. That's why you send requests. Nikita, I love you. I love our children, and I can't wait till these results come out so that we can get married and start our new life. Here's your love, Patrick. Patrick, come on up. <laughs> Her, you want to adopt their ch her child? Yeah, you want to you want to marry her in two weeks? Yeah, that, see, look at that, man. That's that's a million dollar lottery ticket right there. I can't lose that, a man. A million dollars that we don't have. Oh, you want to walk down the aisle? With yeah, her. I'm about to adopt. I'm about to adopt right. that girl. Except, I'm not too sure you're ready to do this. <laughs> La last night, Patrick, we put you in a green room with the help of our private investigator, <laughs> Wendy Kleinman. Wendy, what, what went on? Maury, Nikita, we put Patrick in a green room last oh, no. night with oh, a no, sexy no. decoy and a hidden camera. What's disturbing is his behavior for a man who is about to walk down the aisle in two weeks. You need to see this video. Take a look. How long have you been with your girlfriend? Two years, going on. Wow. You see yourself marrying her? It's about to get married or something. I don't know about that. You don't know about that? It's too much. Marriage is the only thing that you're going to get on the train of girlfriend. Here are the bitches. More bitches. Crazy. That's not bad. Later that, later that uh -oh. evening, uh -oh. okay, you need to hear this. What Patrick texted the decoy later in the evening, okay, is the worst behavior that I have ever seen on this show for somebody not getting married in the summer, somebody that's getting married in two weeks, okay? Let's, I'll read it. I'll read the Texas with okay. you. Okay. Patrick, come to my room. Decoy, I'll come over right away. Just let me know what I can look forward to. Patrick, you on top of me. <laughs> You should come over here so I can blank the blank out of you. It is so bad. I can't even say it, okay? You need to make it a 
decision. Okay? It is the worst I've ever look, seen. Look, look, oh yeah, I want to hear the whole thing. I already you knew, knew I was in the room. I, you I knew already it. knew I was in the room. You were just, you knew. Look, I already knew I was in the room. You were just playing oh along. God. I took, I, she, she, oh, what are you doing tonight? Uh, nuts. Because I already know I'm in the green room. Why would you give her your number anyway? I watch this. No. She gave me her number. So why would you take it? Your phone is me, your mama and Nikita, my mama. That's Nikita, it. Nikita, Nikita, look, I got the results. Check. Let's do it. You were asked if during your relationship with Nikita, have you ever had sexual intercourse with another woman? You said no. The lie detector said that was a lie more than three women. You were asked if during your relationship with Nikita, when you went missing on New Year's Eve, were you really having sexual intercourse with oh another God, woman? Oh my God. You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. <laughs> Are you serious? You were asked if during your relationship with Nikita, have you ever received money in exchange for sex? Oh God, me. You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. You were asked if during your relationship with Nikita, when she called you and heard a girl in the background, was it because you were having sexual intercourse with another woman? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. Oh, my God! I want to go home! Man, listen here. Check it. Hey. I want to go home. None of that ain't happened. You know what I'm saying? Like, you all have a baby together? Hey. If he had a baby, Mar, I may have a baby with him, but if he can't, he wouldn't be doing this. That baby don't mean nothing to him. He wouldn't be doing this to me. I want you to meet with my counselor, Stephen, before you go home, both of you, okay? We'll be back right after this. Thank you. Oh, my God, I want to go home. Danica and Jimmy have been on the show before. You kind of got an open house going on to all these women. There ain't nothing like that. The lie detector test proved Jimmy was sleeping with multiple women. I just had our son three I weeks didn't. ago. She forgave him. I forgave him only for my son. The tables have turned. Now Jimmy wants a DNA test. Multiple times you have told me this child does not belong to me. You're you know wrong. what I'm saying? You're no, you're wrong. You're, wrong. you're wrong. Who will be asking for forgiveness when the results come out this time? Jimmy. The evidence continues to stack up on this hour of cheating. Everyone, this is Danica. Welcome, Danica, back to the show. I say back because if she looks familiar to you, it's because she and her boyfriend, Jimmy, were on our show last year just weeks after giving birth to their first child. Because Danica believed that Jimmy was having sex with multiple women in their very own home. Watch this appearance. I've had multiple women tell me that they've had sex with my man in my house, in my bed. He's the father of my child. How could he do this to me? I've had women tell me that they are having sex with him. What does Jimmy say about you every time? They're they... just trying to come in between our relationship. You kind of got an open house going on to all these women. There ain't nothing like that. Then why would no. they tell me this? I have no idea. Have you had sexual intercourse with a woman who texted Danica saying that she had sex with you in your house? You said no. That was a lie. <laughs> Did you have sexual intercourse with a woman who described your bedroom? You said no. That was a lie. Oh, my God. Are you serious? I just had our son three I weeks didn't. ago. Okay. You see, the tables have turned. Yes. And now he says he's not the father of your child. Yes, now he denies my son. You forgave him. You brought him back. I forgave him only for my son. What is the main reason that Jimmy gives that he's not the father of that adorable child? Because of my son's nose, that my son has a black person's nose. What? Yes, he says my son is not white. This is what Jimmy had to say. I was so happy when Danica gave me a second chance after I failed my lie detector test on the last show. What hasn't changed in our relationship is I do not believe that I am the father of Danica's baby, Bentley. Around the time that Danica conceived the baby, we had separated and I know she had sex with her ex-boyfriend. I don't believe Bentley looks anything like me at all. He looks mixed to me and Danica's ex-boyfriend is black. 
Danica up and left one month before she gave birth to Bentley. Top it off, she didn't even tell me until after he was born. I know she waited to see what race that baby was when he came out. This relationship is over if I find out that I'm not the father of Danica's baby Bentley. Here's Jimmy. Multiple times you have told me this child does not belong to me. No, I have yeah, never. You have. No. Yeah, you have. No. Many, many, many times before you Jimmy, told me this child is not mine. Jimmy, Jimmy, back it up. She forgave you, took you back. Yes, she did, Maury, and I, I you know, I completely, I, I love it. You're you know wrong. what I'm saying? You're no, you're wrong. You know. You're wrong. You're wrong. Okay, Jimmy, 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 tell me what part of him don't says, look like you, because you know says, he looks just like you. Yeah. You see? Yeah, we'll find out. You, you, your friends, and all your family denied my son. We'll find out. We'll find out. She says, you can't do the math. Now, she's you wrong. You all were broken up. Now, she's, she's wrong. wrong. No. Why I'm she's not wrong. the doctors she's getting wrong. off look. the No. No. She was pregnant and on, on Valentine's Day of last year, right? The day after when I started doing the math, you know what I'm saying? Everything went back five weeks is what she was. And what she was. And I used a little real thing in the jigger and it went back to what she's with her baby dad. Wrong. No, you're wrong. I ain't wrong. You're wrong. No, I know you're wrong. I know that you're Jimmy, the let me just say it today. Let me just say. We'll, we'll find Jimmy. out. We'll find out. We'll find out. We'll find out. We will find yep. out. Jimmy. Yep. Does that baby look mixed? No. At, month, yeah, at some no. point he does. At some point he does. At some point he does. Tell me where. Look, Lauren, look. Tell me where. If you had where? a picture, if you had a picture of her other son, right? Same face, same nose, everything. No, you're wrong. My other no. son is dark. He's white. I'm telling you. He is white. Everything. He is white. Right. Right. This is your child. This is the last argument you ever have about this, right? Yep. And you're going to be the best father in the world, oh, right? Oh, most definitely. Okay. Oh, my God. When it comes to three-month-old Bentley, Jimmy. Who will be asking for forgiveness when the results come out this time? Jimmy. The shocking results are next. Josh is furious that the woman he loves is cheating on him with another man. I, f I feel so strong for you, Catherine. I can't take this anymore. His brother, Zach. How come I found your underwear under my pillow? Underwear? You know like what? It was a mistake. Two brothers at war and one lie detector test that will expose everything. The lie detector test determined. We can do the work. <laughs> the evidence continues to stack up on this hour of cheating. I was so happy when Danica gave me a second chance after I failed my lie detector test on the last show. What hasn't changed in our relationship is I do not believe that I am the father of Danica's baby, Bentley. I don't believe Bentley looks anything like me at all. He looks mixed to me and Danica's ex-boyfriend is black. This relationship is over if I find out that I'm not the father of Danica's baby, Bentley. Multiple times you have told me this child does not belong to me. No, I have yeah, not. Yeah, you have. No. Yeah, you have. No. Does that baby look mixed? No. At, a month, yeah, at some no. point he does. My baby is at here. some what? point he does. Oh, my God. When it comes to three-month-old Bentley, Jimmy, you are the father. I apologize. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I love you. I love you. I'm sorry. Have a good life. Josh is furious that the woman he loves is cheating on him with another man. I, f I feel so strong for you, Catherine. I can't take this anymore. His brother, Zach. I will never do anything to her. You're my brother. I love Zach as a brother, and that's it. He found Zach's boxers in their bed. Because I bring girls in there to get busy with. In my bed that I worked so hard for. Two brothers at war. Why don't you be the man that mom and dad raised us to be? And one lie detector test that will expose everything. The lie detector test determined.
we can do the work. <laughs> the evidence continues to stack up on this hour of cheating. Catherine and I have been together for seven years. I fear that my own brother is at home taking care of my girlfriend with sex acts. I have found my brother's boxers in my own bed, and I have found my girlfriend's lingerie in his bed. It gets so much worse. A naked picture of my brother's penis was in my girlfriend's phone. I won't take this anymore. Love is not supposed to hurt you. It's supposed to be patient, and it's supposed to be kind. You know dang well I don't cheat on you. I found your stuff. I found your stuff in his bed. I found the car in my bed. Listen, I would never touch Catherine. She's my brother's girlfriend. <laughs> you know, with the whole bed thing, found out they had a California King waterbed. I was like, <laughs> come on, get me on that right now. I thought, yeah, let's have a waterbed because we can do the work. <laughs> we can do the work. In order to clear everything up, we ought to let's have Let's get the these results. <laughs> One more thing. Zach, if I find anything that you're having sex with my girlfriend, you better get ready to live in the cardboard box as you're going back to it. Might as well. Might as well. Catherine, you were asked if you want to marry Josh. You said yes. The lie detector test determined you're telling the truth. You were asked, Catherine, if during your relationship with Josh, have you ever had any sexual contact of any kind with his brother, Zach? No. You said no. The lie detector test determined you are telling the truth. What say now, Josh? Hey, that ain't nothing. That don't, that don't mean, that don't describe the picture. That don't describe the condom. You hey, apologize to your brother. I just want you to know, dude, no matter what, I'm, I'm so glad that you're not doing this, and you're still my brother, and you're still my girlfriend, and I still plan on marrying you in two weeks, and I still want you to be the best man. <laughs> Except for one thing, Josh. We haven't completely finished the lie detector test. Catherine, you were asked if during your relationship with Josh, other than the man you admitted to kissing when you were on a break, have you ever had con any sexual contact of any kind with any other man? You said no. The lie detector test determined you are telling the truth. What do you have to say about that? I'm sorry. Will you quit? You going to be now? Josh, you have a loyal girlfriend and a loyal brother. Now go celebrate that. We'll be back right after this. Patrick's proposition for sex with an undercover decoy. Blank the blank out of you. And the evidence from the lie detector test <laughs> had Nikita in tears. He was my everything. But is there more to this shocking story? What's going on? Why are you doing this? find out what will happen to their engagement next. Because we can do the work. <laughs> the evidence continues to stack up on this hour of cheating. Earlier in the show, Patrick, Patrick pledged to adopt his fiance's daughter on their wedding day. I'm about to adopt right. that girl. I'm not too sure you're ready to do this. But then he met an undercover decoy in the green room and decided to text her for sex afterwards. You should come over here so I can blank the blank out of you. The lie detector results came out. That was a lie more than three women. Patrick, are you serious? <laughs> and revealed that Patrick had cheated on his fiance with at least three women. After the show. I hate you. Executive producer Paul Fallhaber met with Patrick and Nikita. Every time that I'm having sex with you, I'm having sex with them too, and that's nasty. That's hella nasty. I've been with... A couple, quite no, a few. Just two, just two different women. It We're said you had sex with three different women. It's three, right? Be honest. Yeah. Patrick admitted to having sex with all three women. Three yeah. too many. You was my knight in shining armor. You was my everything. You're my daughter's dad. It appeared that Patrick was the villain in their relationship. I didn't see you cheat on him once. When we very first got together. But then Nikita opened up about her own indiscretions. When she cheated on me, you know, I didn't, after that, I didn't feel you no know, love no more, you know? Both partners have caused heartbreak in this engagement. The question is now, what's going on? You think you're gonna get married in two weeks? 
It looks like the wedding plans and their dreams of a family together are all over. Until next time, America. More action, more Mari. And it starts now. It's an unbelievable hour of paternity drama, and the results are in. This man, Guy, deserted her. Shanice believes Rachel forced him. I trust my husband. When he said that's not his baby, I believe him. He says you were together three times he used protection. In one night, three times. <laughs> Is this your child? No, it's not my child. Mary. We're going to find out. Guy. <laughs> now, when Jessica was just 16, she discovered she was pregnant. He broke up with me. And ever since, he hasn't thought he was a father of my son. All of a sudden, because of his mother? Yes. Everyone's going to know what a slut that little fish face is, and we're finally rid of her. You know what I mean? Child looked like your son. No. You let me talk. Let me talk. Well, let's find out. Mark, ah! he's made your life a living hell. A living hell, Mari. He said the baby ain't his, then he said it is, then he said it ain't. He plays me like I'm a ping pong. Find out right now. Galen, ah! the emotion starts right now on Mari. Everyone, this is Shanice. Now, when Shanice was seven months pregnant, she says this man, Guy, deserted her. He deserted her and began to <laughs> her baby. Why? Because Shanice believes Guy's new girlfriend, Rachel, forced him. That's right. That's right. That's Before right. Before we speak to Shanice, this is what Guy and Rachel watch this. I'm a thousand percent sure that I'm not the father of Shanice's baby, Stefan. Shanice and I only had sex three times, and we use protection every single time. It's impossible. I know for a fact that Shanice was sleeping with other people at the time that she got pregnant. A few of them was my good friends. Shanice thinks I'm denying her baby because of my wife, Rachel, but that's not the case. I trust my husband. When he said that's not his baby, I believe him. I know Shanice's son isn't mine. She carried that damn baby for a whole year. Shanice's baby already weighs 100 pounds. And God forgive me, but it looks like he has up and down syndrome. Trust me, I do not make babies that look like that. Shanice, when this test proves that I'm not the father of your baby, I want you out of my life. You ever heard stuff like that before? No, nah, Mari, that's that BS he on. That's what he's on. He don't know what he's talking about. He don't know what he's talking about. They don't know nothing. He's talking out the side. He's just talking out the side of his neck. That is not his wife. Could be his cousin, for one. So why he talking about that? Why he talking about that? Yeah. I bet Shanice. you didn't know that. I Shanice. bet you didn't know Shanice. that. Shanice. Says you were together three times. He used protection. Each three time. times, Mari. Probably in one night, three times. No, no, not just three times. More than three times. Protection, right? Yes. Without protection. Well, guess what? In order to make sure that everybody's telling the truth, we gave Shanice a lie detector test, so we're going to have that. Okay. So when, when you were two months pregnant with Stefan, what did you tell him? He tell was God? like, I'm beat up for your baby. I'm support you. I want you to have a boy, but I wanted to have a girl. So he was like, if you have a girl, try again and make a boy this time. He was going to beat her for me while he talking so that's about what, it. That's when you were two months pregnant. That's what, when I was two months what, pregnant. What happened when you were seven months pregnant? When I was seven months pregnant, he got with Rachel. Rachel started putting that stuff in his ear, talking about, that ain't your baby. Your baby don't look like you. How you know what we was doing when we was together? Was you there? No, we did not have no threesome. It was only two months. Now, did you 
gave birth. Was he there at the hospital? No, he wasn't there. I guess he decided to go on a trip vacation instead of seeing his son born. You know what I'm saying? He, he wanted to go on a vacation. So he wasn't at board. the hospital. He didn't sign any no, birth certificate. Nothing like, that. like that. Nothing. And then when Stefan got when Stefan got sick, was he? At, did he come to the hospital? No, he didn't come to the hospital. I called his phone about a thousand and one times. He did not pick up not one time. He want to play them childish games. Pick up the phone and hang up. No. Do they look alike? You think they look alike? You think? My son is beautiful. Y'all see my son? <laughs> Has he ever seen your baby? My baby He's not never one seen your time. baby. So how you gonna say the baby don't look like you and you ain't seen him? Not no. one time. He said this. He said this baby was huge. So how my baby gonna be a hundred pounds? Babies can't be a hundred pounds. They too much. Here they are, Guy and Rachel. I mean, I'm a thousand percent Boy, positive. Boy, you ain't right? no thousand percent positive. I ain't talking to you with. I ain't talking to you with. Why you Boy, sitting there playing? You I, I, you, I ain't talking to you with. You sitting there playing. Why you sitting there playing? So you didn't mess with nobody. You didn't mess with nobody. You didn't mess with nobody. Nobody else. You didn't mess with nobody. Three times. Three times, man. That's, That's it. it. No, 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 not three times. No, you were not. Were you was not there. How you gonna say that? I'm not. You were not there. Three times. Three times. Three times. Bam, this, blah, blah. But I'm going to come out there and see the baby. Woo. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Man, whatever, now, man. Now, what you got to say about that? Do I ever talk to you? Guy, you Do I ever talk to you? Do I ever talk to you? You ever, see, you ever nope. seen this baby? Nope, I ain't seen. Take I, a look. I, 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 seen, I seen the baby. I seen the baby one time on the picture. Take a look. Oh, Well, you, I, if I'm ugly, you say your baby ugly because you say it looks like fine, me. Baby. My baby fine, baby. My baby is fine. My baby don't like me. Are you going to find if it's yours? Murphy, the baby mine, I'm going to be there. Okay. The baby mine, I'm going to be there. Okay. So, we wanted to get all the facts out in the open. So, we gave Shanice a lie detector test about whether she was telling the truth about her relationship with Guy. Here are the results. Oh. You were asked, Shanice, if you had sex with Guy more than the three times he claims you did. You said yes. The lie detective determined you were telling the truth more than ten times. Three of which without protection. Well, you know, I don't know whether sex without protection should be applauded or not, but that's what the result is. <laughs> but now, this is the most important thing. Is this your child or not? No, it's not my child. We're going to find out right now. When it comes to two-month-old Stefan Guy, you are the father. child's life. Don't get on him, all right? You let him in his life. Because if you're in his face all the time, you'll drive him away and you want him in your child's life. Because he's the father, right? Thank you very much. I apologize. The baby man, I'm going to be there. You know what I'm saying? That's, I'm going to be a man in my world. I'm going to be there for the baby. All you do is lie. What happened to this couple after the show? 
we have an amazing update. When Jessica was just 16, she discovered she was pregnant. He broke up with me, and ever since, he hasn't thought he was a father of my son. All of a sudden, because of his mother? Yes. Everyone's gonna know what a slut that little fish face is, and we're finally rid of her. Child look like your son. No. You let me talk! Let me talk! Well, let's find out right now. <laughs> It's an unbelievable hour of paternity drama, and the results are in. This is Jessica. Now, when Jessica was just 16, she discovered she was pregnant. Now, Jessica hoped and believed that the love of her life, Mark, would be there for her. But, like in so many teen pregnancy stories, Jessica was sadly mistaken. Watch. When Jessica was 16 years old, she fell in love with her boyfriend, Mark. They became high school sweethearts, and she truly believed she was with the man of her dreams. Me and Mark were so in love. Although Jessica was only in the 10th grade when she found out that she was pregnant, she says she and Mark were pleasantly surprised together. During my pregnancy, he was always there for me. When I gave birth to my son, he was in the delivery room. He signed the birth certificate. It was the best thing that ever happened to me. But just two months later, Mark unexpectedly began to deny that he was Dominic's father. He broke up with me, and ever since he hasn't thought he was a father of my son. I know I'm not the father of Jessica's baby, and I know Jessica's a lying, cheating whore. But Jessica believes that Mark is being influenced by his family, mainly his mother Mary. Mark's mother Mary is ruining my life. She's telling everybody that my son is not born. Jessica is a low down, no good, white trash hussy who's never been good enough for my son. I'm glad we're gonna find out today that this isn't my son's baby, then we're through with her for good. I'm only 17 and I can't do this by myself. So we're gonna meet Mark and his mother in a bit, but first, what have the last two months been like? Can't do anything. Oh. All because of his mother? <laughs> Lord. Huh? Yes. What did his mother do? I guess she heard a rumor that I cheated on Amari. And she I heard didn't. a rumor. Who'd she hear that rumor from? I don't know. Did you cheat on him? No. I love him too much to cheat on him. She go around calling you names? Like what? <laughs> a bitch and a whore and a hussy and like Mark? Yes, Mark. Look at their ears, Mari. Look at their ears. Look at their ears. The ears. They got the same exact ears. One's round and then one's pointing. <laughs> the same eyes. Did they do anything in the last two months to help? They haven't done anything at all. Does he see the baby? No. Did he break up with you? I guess. I don't know what's going on, Mark. Well, what does that mean, you don't know? That's what I don't understand he about left. you. He, he left. He, he left. He just left. Like, he, he didn't say nothing to me. You haven't been going out, have you? you I sure? can't go out, Maury. Why? My son. Oh, because you're baby. <laughs> All right. It's time to meet Mark and his mother. But before we do, they had one more thing to say, Jessica. Look at this. Jessica, today is the day you'll find out that I am not the father of your baby. And when you do, I never want to see your face again, so stay the hell away from me. That's right. Finally, everyone's going to know what a lying, cheating slut that little fish face is, and we're finally rid of her. You know, before I bring him out, your parents are in the audience, and they have to listen to this, okay? <laughs> they have to hear you being called names like that. I mean, how embarrassing is that? Here they are, Mark and his mother, oh. Mary. I gotta ask Mary first, because, you know, lightning rod in all of this. What is so upsetting to you? She lies all the time. From day one, she has done nothing but lie. I tried to like her. I brought her into my home and I right. loved her. Right. But she has done nothing but lie. The girl! Uh-uh, uh-uh. You let me talk. You let me talk. Let me talk. Maury, listen, please. What kind of a girl is 
going to walk out naked in front of my <laughs> Tell me that's a lie. It that ain't. is a lie. It's not a You see, you're lying again. Okay. That's all you know how to do Mary, is lie. Mary, does that child look like your son? Yes. No. 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 You also look like Mark, you all admit that you're a boyfriend and girlfriend, right? Yeah, it was. That. You were. Now, because you had a friend of yours in the same room with uh, Jessica, does that mean they were doing something? It is whenever she rushes out to greet which she never ever does any other time. And he's putting on his shoes and his shirt when I walked in. He never okay. takes his shoes off when he comes to visit. He didn't have a shirt on. He didn't have no okay. shoes on. He did have a shirt on. Thank you. Oh, really? No, it should really? be me in my house when I wasn't home anyway. It wasn't friend. your apartment. That was your friend. It was my apartment. Hallelujah. Yeah. And you gonna sit there and mess with somebody else on my side? How do you know I mess with Blood them? is That's different than your tears, baby. That's so prove it. Right on with the rest, but you should. But he would be you in better hands with Clark. us than you, cause you suck. Oh. You ain't any better. You oh, ain't any better. Oh, oh. That baby always Mark. needs a bath when Wait I get him. Mark, yes, you Mark. signed the birth certificate. Yes, that was before I even heard any more rumors than I heard. Oh, so there's another, 50 more. Compiled hold on. After hold that. on. How old is this baby? Four months. So all these rumors have been in the last four months, right? All these rumors came down he had after. Yeah, all that was not to sign from it. Own, heard them rumors. If this is your child, are you going to get back together? No. No, no way. No way. No. Ah. Let's find out. You all think it's his child. You all do. I know all this audience thinks it's your child. When it comes to four month old Dominic Mark, you are the father. <laughs> You know what we're in the world of? We're in the world of caring for that child. That's fine. Okay? That's right. Thank you, man. You better be a man. You are will, but you need to give me a one. Anybody can be a father. Yeah, and I like to be a man. Oh, you guys ain't nothing but trash, all three of you. He's made your life a living hell. A living hell, Mari. He said the baby ain't his, then he said it is, then he said it ain't. He plays me like I'm a ping pong. We're gonna find out right now. Galen. <laughs> Emerald's mother revealed to me Emerald might not be mine. He's my daddy, and I don't want nobody to say otherwise. I'm scared of being here, because I don't want somebody to say, you know, you're not his kid. In the case of 18-year-old Emerald, John, it's an unbelievable hour of paternity drama, and the results are in. Everyone, this is Cassara. Now, when Cassara got pregnant with her ex-boyfriend Galen's baby, she claims Galen jumped up and down and begged her to name the baby Galen Jr. And guess what she did? Now, what did Galen do to repay her for that honor? Three months later, Galen began claiming that Galen Jr. was not his son. Yeah. I came all the way here from the Keller on Earth to prove to my dad be baby daddy Galen that he is the father of my five-month-old son. When me and Galen found that I was pregnant, he was so excited. He told me he was not gonna leave me, but guess what? Three months later, he left me and denied my son. I called him up and asked for a can of milk, and guess what he told me? It's not his problem, but gets all his problem after today. He listened to his family, his friend, and his supposed to be baby mama Amy. They're all telling him that this is not his baby. But guess what? The DNA does not lie. Galen is the father.
He's made your life a living hell? A living hell, Mari. A living hell. Really? He plays me like I'm a ping pong. Comes with me, tell me the baby his. Then he lie and say the baby ain't his. Then he say it is. Then he say it ain't. Mari, he is a playing me like a ping pong. What's the deal? Oh, Mari, let me tell you. Yeah. The first thing is, when I got pregnant, yep. his family said the baby ain't his, the baby ain't his, because they don't like me. Oh. But the second thing was, my baby came out too light to be his. Too light? Then my baby got sick and he turned dark. They said, my baby too dark. What do he think he is? What do he think he is, Mark? He is dark. Look at my baby. Don't you see my baby? Yeah. He got with his other baby mama. That's supposed to be. She saw my dog. Girlfriend, or they're the girlfriend, right? The uh -huh. So, so, what's, so what's his family? What's everybody saying? He said he's not the daddy. He don't look but, nothing like him, but, but it doesn't matter daddy daddy because daddy he's daddy a man daddy and I'm the one. If the baby is his, he will be taken care of. If he's not poor, you know what it is. But you know what it is. Let me ask you this because I read that you did something at the hospital. Okay. Woo. Mar, you did gonna... something at the house. You told Mar, him not to sign the birth certificate. I told him not to sign the birth certificate. Why? I said because I got something to prove to you and your family. But you know what? Today is the day that he going to step up and be a man. And Sarah, you're talking to a screen what, here. Uh, what, what, okay, I'm going to bring him out now. Mari, hold on. Wait, wait. Let me talk to Mari. Hold on. 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 Hold I want you to hear what Galen had to say before the show, okay? Mm -hmm. hold Watch on. this. Take a look. For two years, I've been going through nothing but drama with Sarah. I'm tired, I'm done, and I'm finished after today. Even from the beginning, my grandmother, my family, even my girl Amy told me I need the DNA test. Cause Sarah made me think that she was a good girl. But good girls don't go around messing with three, four, and five guys. I let her give him my name because I thought he was my son. I wanted to give him my name back. When the DNA test proved that he's not my son today, I want her to leave me the hell alone. Everybody, here's Galen. Galen Sarah, she know what it was, Whatever. Man. She yeah, does And we gonna show what it yeah. was today when I did it. Hey, I was back and forth from town to town. Back she can't tell me what she was doing. I can't say what she was. Back and forth, living with Damn different it. females. Shh. Shh. Wait a second, Sarah. Sarah no, no, wait a second. Now you've talked. Let me talk to Galen, all right? Listen, yeah. listen, Maura. I still went against Where my family you? because I still was in love with her. Uh -huh. And so I believed her when she told me that she was pregnant with my son. Well, and so that's the reason why I took care of him for three months. Right. But I still had my doubts. Right. And so after me and her broke up, yeah, I stopped, I stopped doing for him until I figured out if he was mine or not because I didn't want to get too attached well, to him. Let me ask you this, Galen. You think that child looks like you? Look at it. He don't look like me. I think that if this is your child, you would step if, up. If he, he mine, I'm going to take choice. care of him. He don't have no other choice. Trust me. Listen, what you talking about? Boy, yeah. That's my son. I'm going to be a man. I'm going to take care of him. I, I have that too. We're going to find out right now. It all is. Okay. And he's going to take care of him. In the case of five-month-old Galen Jr., Galen, you are not. <laughs>
know what okay. you take me through. All right, whatever. You got me that's thinking it. that that's my son. Okay, whatever. He got my name, but that ain't okay. my son. Okay, you gave him your name. Okay, you so it's over with. Name. I want him to. All I right. want her to change his name. I will. It ain't nothing. We'll be back right after this. Emerald's mother revealed to me Emerald might not be mine. He's my daddy, and I don't want nobody to say otherwise. I'm scared of being here, because I don't want somebody to say, you know, you're not his kid. In the case of 18-year-old Emerald, John. All you do is lie. What happened to this couple after the show? We have an amazing update. It's an unbelievable hour of paternity drama, and the results are in. This story is fascinating. We have Emerald here. Emerald's 18. Backstage is her father, John. Now, you see, Emerald and John say they share a father-daughter bond that is virtually unbreakable. But here's the tragic twist. John may not be Emerald's biological father. Here's their story. 18-year-old Emerald and her father, John, seem like they have the perfect father-daughter relationship. My dad means the world to me. I would do anything to make him happy. I knew that uh, Emerald and I would have just an awesome relationship as soon as she was born. The doctor carried her across the room, and she smiled at me. And I didn't know what to say. I... It was because of this extraordinary bond they share that John decided to reveal a secret that he had been hiding for years. Four years ago, I found out that my dad might not be my dad. It was really hurt. You know, he's my daddy no matter what, and I don't want nobody to say otherwise, so. Emerald's mother revealed to me that Emerald might not be mine, and I was devastated. Both John and Emerald are desperate for the paternity truth. Up until this point, you know, I never wanted a DNA test done because I was, I was scared, you know, I didn't want somebody to say, you know, he's not your dad. If I hear tomorrow that I'm not the father, uh, it's going to be upsetting and devastating to both Emerald and I both. If I hear that he's not my father tomorrow, then I don't know what I'm going to do. Now, of course, we've given John and Emerald a paternity test. We're going to reveal the results in a moment. How shocked were you in the eighth grade when your father told you this? Um, I was really upset. I was very shocked because, you know, my daddy's my daddy. He's my everything. He's my whole world. Been and in your life since day one? Yeah. <laughs> the other... The other side story to all of this is that you were very young, but uh, your father lost another daughter. Yeah. They had another daughter. Yeah. And she was lost when she was an infant. Uh, you think you look like your father? I think that we have. <laughs> yeah. You knew this in the eighth grade. Now you're, f this is four years ago. You've resisted a DNA test, haven't you? Yeah, because I don't, like, I'm scared of being here because I don't want somebody to sit there and say, you know, he's not your dad. You're not his kid. Because, I mean, I've seen other things that have happened, and I'm scared that mine and my dad's relationship isn't going to be the same. So are you on board with this thing today? or? Do oh, yes. I'm, I want to know. I'm just very scared. Okay. <laughs> and... Have you thought about the possibility that he's not your biological father? Uh, of course I have. And? It's not going to change. Our relationship will not change. It won't? No. Do you think you would, you would you search for your biological father? No. You would not? No. You would not search out your biological no. father? Wow. If my dad is not my dad, then that's a piece of paper saying that. That's not me saying that. Everybody, welcome John. Here's John. John, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, sir. Good to see you.
first of all, I want to congratulate you on having a terrific daughter. Oh, so thank be you. Very proud of her. I tell her that every day. Yeah. Do you love her more than anything? Yes, sir. So if you all love each other as father and daughter so much, why do we even need this test? It's, it's something that I want to know. Emerald says nothing's going to change if you're not the father. How about you? No way. Nothing will ever change. Nothing will ever change. In the case of 18-year-old Emerald, John, you are the father. <laughs> It's okay. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> Everything's all right. Everything's okay. Yes. All right? Yeah. No more doubts. No more questions. Well, we can put this no away. It's over. Thank, Thank you, you very so much. Thank you so much. I love you so much. And I'm so happy that, you know, it came out the way we wanted it to. Yes, yes. If it didn't, I don't... Oh, I love you very, very much. I love much. you, too. Oh, I'm glad. Yeah. When I met Lupe, I looked at my daughter and I said, what the hell are you thinking, I mean, He's a fuck. My daughter has developmental issues, and this guy has done nothing. I mean, look at this guy. Look at him. He's a punk. Let's get one thing straight. I'm not that kid's father. You're the whore. You're the whore. But is he the father? Lupe? <laughs> It's an unbelievable hour of paternity drama, and the results are in. Everyone, this is Irene, and next to Irene is her fiery mother, Lillian. You see, Lillian and Irene are here to confront a man named Loopy. That's Loopy. And they're here to prove that Loopy is the father of Irene's child, Autumn. Here's their story. When Irene met Loopy, she believed they were meant to be, even though they shared nothing in common. He didn't have a job, he didn't have goals, but I loved him and I tried to make it work. Somebody who was not convinced at all about Loopy's character was Irene's mother, Lillian. When I met Loopy, I looked at my daughter and I said, what the hell are you thinking, Irene? He's a bum. Ignoring her mom and hoping for the best, Irene soon got the reality check when she got pregnant. When I told Lupe I was pregnant, he immediately asked me for a DNA. I just could not believe that he would deny this baby. If dealing with a deadbeat dad isn't hard enough, Irene's daughter Autumn is sick and Lupe could care less. My daughter has developmental issues and this guy has done nothing at all to help her. He has never sent her a dime, not even a birthday card from her father. Despite all of her drama with Loopy, Irene is hoping she can inspire Loopy to change. But Irene's mom, Lillian, has no faith in Loopy. I want these DNA results to make Loopy look like a fool. And I'm hoping that eventually he will grow up, be a man, and take care of his daughter. Lily, you think this guy can grow up, be a man, and take care of his daughter? Hell no. Punk. He'll always be the bum he is. Always. <laughs> what did your mother tell you when you first brought Loopy around? No. That he was no good for me, that I was too good for him, that I, I don't know how to look for men, and... Look at him. Bum. I mean, look at this guy. Look at him. <laughs> He's so thin. He's like... No, 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 no. Look at this. And when you got pregnant, what was the first thing he did? He sat there and denied my daughter. Instantaneously. He said, he said, you know why? He said, because his pee-pee's so small, he couldn't believe he made a baby. He couldn't believe he made a baby. That's why. That's why. Everyone say that I might be the father of that child? Of course, every time. He didn't really start <laughs> pushing the DNA issue till I went to court because I was tired of fighting with him to pay what's due to her. So now you're not only the grandmother, you're the father, I guess. I'm the grandfather, I'm the grandmother, I'm the father, the mother, I'm the counselor, the therapist, I'm everything to that little girl. And she means the world to me. I don't mind. 
Well, maybe but they're... He, she needs a father in her life. She needs a man. All right, here's another side to the story. You think Loopy has another side to the story? Let's, let's listen to him. Okay, let's see. Bean and I were in a relationship for two years, but let's get one thing straight. I'm not that kid's father. Irene is a very smart woman with an extensive vocabulary. But how come when I asked her for a DNA test, she was like, uh, uh, uh. She says Autumn's my kid, but I know she's not my kid because she's an ex-prostitute and a habitual liar. And besides, she's a money-hungry bitch. I know it was Irene's mother's idea to pin this baby on me. She should help her daughter find her baby's daddy and stay the hell out of my life for good. When everyone finds out I'm not the father, everyone's gonna know how much of a real whore you truly are. There's Loopy. Lily, your daughter. I don't think so. A minute ago you were Lo sure. Loopy. A Lo minute ago you were sure. She lead a lifestyle, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah you and what lead, lifestyle she you probably lead? Still leading the that bomb lifestyle. You helped her lead that lifestyle. The bomb lifestyle. You helped her lead that lifestyle. That's right. You know what her lifestyle is? You know what? Wait a minute. Stop. You know what her lifestyle is? She graduated college. She works for a doctor. What you got? All I care about is that child. That's all I care about. My granddaughter. That's it. All right. We're going to find out the result right In the case of 20 month old Autumn, Loopy, did he father her baby? All you do is lie. What happened to this couple after the show? We have an amazing update. It's an unbelievable hour of paternity drama, and the results are in. When I told Lupi I was pregnant, he immediately asked me for a DNA. I just could not believe that he would deny this baby. When you got pregnant, what was the first thing he did? He sat there and denied my daughter. Instantaneously. He said, he said. You know why? He said, because his pee-pee's so small, he couldn't believe. He made a baby. He couldn't believe he made a baby. Irene and I were in a relationship for two years. But let's get one thing straight. I'm not that kid's father. She says Autumn's my kid, but I know she's not my kid because she's an ex-prostitute and a habitual liar. And besides, she's a money-hungry bitch. Look, that your daughter? I don't think so. If you're the father, are you going to be around? Absolutely. In the case of 20-month-old Autumn, Loopy, you are the father. Why didn't you right? do it? The, why didn't you do it in the exactly. beginning when we was together for? What for? Because you, you ain't for? worth it. That's you got why. This one influence and you ain't taking And your mother the influences you. Okay. You bum. You sit here listening to her. You're a bum. You're a loser and a bum. Okay, and Lily. Check out here. Make sure you know that. All you do is lie. What happened to this couple after the show? The answer is next. It's an unbelievable hour of paternity drama, and the results are in. I trust my husband. When he said that's not his baby, I believe him. God, you are the father. <laughs> what happened to this couple after the show? I want you to get your stuff out of my house and leave. All you do is lie. I don't want no more. 
sick of You're gonna leave him? Yes, for real. He's out of there. Shocking reactions. Oh, I know it all about it. Man. Caused by shocking results. <laughs> the drama explodes on Mark. Lisa thinks the man she loves is cheating because of his new grooming habits. David shaved somewhere he's never shaved before. Manscaping. Hair was gone down south. He swears his new look has nothing to do with cheating. You don't have any hard evidence. You've never seen him with a woman, have no, you? No, she never has. Oh, no. Until right now. Because she's about to see him kissing one of our sexy people. You dark. This woman wants to know why her man bought this sexy lingerie. How has this? For her sister. What? No, 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 no. Two sisters. And one huge act of betrayal is about to be revealed. And this hour has even more family sex scandals exposed. Is the cab driver Jennifer fell in love with faithful? He seems to be driving a lot of women. What happened to the man? What happened to the man? Or is his meter about to run out? Relationships are put to the ultimate test. You can't lie out of it! A lie detector test. Hello? Where are you? All of the incredible drama starts right now. Everyone, this is Jennifer. Welcome Jennifer to the show. Now, Jennifer, Jennifer may, uh, met her fiancé Clarence when he gave her a ride in his taxi cab. Today, Jennifer fears that Clarence is using his taxi as a vehicle to pick up and sleep with strange women. Because not only does Jennifer suspect Clarence has a stash of sex toys in the cab, she fears he is plying his female customers with alcohol in order for them to sleep with him. And Clarence doesn't even drink. Watch. Clarence, he means the world to me. He means everything, and I'm hurting right now because of what I think he's doing to me. It hurts me every single day, and my heart is breaking. I know my man is riding more than his cab around town, and I am sick of it. Clarence claimed that the so-called customers are women that be calling his phone. I'm the only one supposed to have his personal cell phone number. The day I heard Clarence on my voicemail, Having sex was the most horrible day to me. My heart just broke. I'm sick and I'm tired of discovering these women's earrings, bracelets, and diaper bags inside of my man's car. We are about to bring Clarence's taxi cab confessions to light. Taxi cab confessions? You accuse him of that? I know, I know in my heart. Did you ask him about that? I asked him, he told me they personals. They just they're they what? personal cat, they personal customers. Oh, they're just customers. They customers that and but but they women though. How you get more women personal customers than men? I see. So he see he seems to be driving a lot of women. A lot of well, women. Maybe he's just friendly. No, he's not friendly. He's doing more than being friendly. He's trying to get in their panties. He's trying to he's doing more than that. One time. You answered your phone, and it was a butt dial. I'm on a voicemail. And what are you I'm doing? here, you talking to this bitch. I mean, I'm sorry, but uh, I'm here, you talking to her. Right. She asking you, um, do you get any condoms? Uh, I heard them on the phone having man, sex. Ha he, in the she the moaning, phone. she, uh, uh, uh. He told her, flip right. your ass over. Now he here. <laughs> So afterwards, you ask him what was going on. I asked the man, you know what this.
told me, Mario, he said that that was not him. I say, so it's not you, but your phone butt down me with your number. Right. And, and I'm what like, I saw, so I let him hear the voicemail. You know, this what man told me was? that was not him. It was the TV. <laughs> he said it was the TV playing, Marty. The TV. Maybe it was, maybe he had it on the porn the channel TV or something. On the porn <laughs> channel. Marty, I know his voice. All right, this is what Clarence had to say. Watch. I'm a cab driver. Working in this industry, you gotta be sociable. Yeah, I drive pretty women around every day, but I gotta make them feel comfortable. I have the most beautiful woman at home. And when you love somebody, you got to be able to trust them. A lot of customers is in and out this cab all the time. I mean, of course people is gonna leave stuff behind. Jewelry, diaper bag, they in a rush. Jennifer gets in the cab like Inspector Jennifer. She's always asking me questions and snooping around. I'm a businessman, and women is going to call my phone. Her mind is playing tricks on her, and this craziness needs to stop today. Women, you hear what this man said, Maury, women? How is women going to just call your damn phone? What happened to the man? What happened to you picking that man? Hit, hit Clarence, the taxi driver. Clarence, come on out. Right, the taxi driver. <laughs> You are a friendly guy, and that's Very why you get a lot of business, man. because you're a friendly cab Very driver. Yeah. So huh? you said... Well, you, want, you don't want to get in no cab, and then, you know, he, he all angry. Stop it, stop it. You want it. to get in the cab, and he, you can conversate yeah, with him, Because guess what, so you know, Clarence? Okay, okay. We got too many angry cab drivers in New York exactly. City, right? Man, exactly. So we... A friendly cab driver, that's a rarity, and that you are man, that rarity. Very, very. And that's why you get all this business. Exactly. So with women. But, but, I, with but women. I'm not going to be able to, to keep up my business because she running them away. How is she running them away? They, you and know, what they I might, a female might get in the car and they might be like, man, I, I like, I like right. your cab. No, that, you know, I like they, your they, service. You know, I don't want to deal with the company. So I'm going to take so your number down. They feel very number. confident with you. Yeah, they, they might say, I want to take your number down. And call me, you at 2 and 3 in the damn morning. And call him at 2 and 3 in the damn morning. And we in the they bed. they feel comfortable with you. They feel comfortable with you. And we in the bed at 2 and 3 in the but, morning, Marty. Boy, look, stop look. it. 2 and 3 in the morning. Look. 2 and 3 in the morning. <laughs> 2 and 3 in the morning. Okay. The cab stand is 24 hours, Clarence, Marty. Apparently, you got a locked glove box. And yes, you don't he like did. anybody. Sex box. I call it the sex trunk box. <laughs> I can't get it. You gotta in go it. into the glove box to open the trunk. That's crazy because if you got the key, the key that that started the cop is the key that opened oh up the my glove God. box. It's so all you it's, gotta do is. Mari, if it's that simple, then it should be it should be locked. It should be locked. But at it the same time, locked, though, Mari, I live in Chicago. So cars get broken into. No, I don't okay, want them no, getting don't in my Don't use that as no excuse. That's what you what had. What you mean? That's why you had them blankets. No right, right, right. One more right, question right. before we, we go to the results. Okay. You like Twilight. Okay. <laughs> See, the thing was, my cousin, he just came back from the Army. And so right. this, this, so, so he you mean like, man, he I want to go to the show. Twilight. I'm going to pay for you to go to the show. Oh, you want to go see Twilight. Okay, so if you don't He was watch. in the show watching the movie. I was stepping outside calling her. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Here we go. We got the results. Are you ready? Oh, wow. We asked you, during your relationship with Jennifer, have you ever used your job as a cab driver to have sexual intercourse with another woman? You said no. The lie detector determined... Is Clarence's meter about to run out? The lie detector determined... The results are coming up. Lisa thinks the man she loves is cheating because of his new grooming habits. David shaved somewhere he's never shaved before. <laughs> Manscaping. Hair was gone down south. He swears his new look has nothing to do with cheating. You don't have any hard evidence. You've never seen him with a woman, have no, you? No, she never has. No. Until right now. Because she's about to see him kissing one of our sexy people.
Relationships are put to the ultimate test. A lie detector test. Everyone, this is Lisa. Welcome Lisa to the show. And Lisa is in love with a man named David. And David is here. And Lisa and David, they have known each other for 45 years. And Lisa always believed that they would grow old together. But apparently, it all changed when Lisa came home and found two unwrapped condoms in her garbage bag. And as usual, there's at least one thing I learn every day on The Maury Show. Because Lisa then noticed that David began manscaping. I'm glad you all know what that is, because I didn't. But apparently it's when David shaved somewhere he's never shaved before. This is Lisa's story. I'm here today because I need to know if my boyfriend has been cheating on me and lying. I go out of town for a couple of days, and I come home, and I find two used condoms in the garbage can. I found him putting I love you lollipops underneath the neighbor's door. I think that was the woman that he used those damn condoms on. Two weeks ago, he comes out, and his hair was gone down south. He has never shaved down there before. I also found in front of my neighbor's door a bag of my knickknacks, and I know they were mine because they said Vermont on them. I said, what the hell are you doing putting these in front of her door? These are mine. My son is constantly telling me to leave him. If I find out today he has been cheating on me, I am leaving him for good. He says it's all in your head, all these, all these uh, accusations. No, all these it's feelings. not. It's, it's right there. It, it is it right is there? It is right there. Okay, the condoms were right there? They were right there. Where were they? In the trash, right on the top. What was his explanation of going a shaving south? Shaving down there. He said he wanted it all fancy-dancy for me down there. <laughs> You, that you all haven't had sex in how long? A year. A year. Fancy dancy. He really put the I love you lollipops under the neighbor's door? I should have been receiving those lollipops, not her. Not her. And what, and what was his explanation for that? He was being a nice guy. Oh, <laughs> That's a good neighbor policy. I see that. Okay. Meanwhile, your son Sean is here, right? Yes, he Sean is. Sean doesn't like David, does he? Not one bit. Sean, nice to see you. <laughs> You're sticking up for your mom, huh? Yeah. You don't want him or her around him, do you? No. Why? Because he's cheating on her with another woman. He has women calling him. He has, he's on Facebook talking well, to other women. You're not going to kick him out if he fails his test, are you? Oh, yes, I am. Oh! Yes, I have. You love her? I love her with all my heart. Then why are you putting I love you lollipops in front of the neighbor's house? I was being friendly and I, I was didn't know, I wasn't looking at consequences. Lollipops should have been for me. What's the deal with manscaping? I had double, sur double surgery on the hernias. I yes. had both of the hernias removed. It wasn't growing in properly, the hair. So I had to be moved. David, why does that have to look fancy for me? When it, it don't look, look fancy, fancy Lisa. Over a year. It don't look fancy. That you tried to tell me you wanted it fancy for me. I never said it was gonna look fancy. Yes, you did. No, you I didn't. It all tripped right up. How do you get along with Sean here? How do I get along with him? Yeah. In plain English, he's a piece of garbage. <laughs> You're a freeloader, that's what you are. You had a woman call you a few days ago. You were 
talking to another woman on my birthday on Facebook. Oh, I'm yeah. glad you think so. You don't have to go. David, it, it, it was right there. there. It was right there. I don't talk Watch to no women but you. It was right there. Apparently, David has an explanation for everything. So we wanted uh, David to explain a couple of things to us. You see, because last night, we put David in a oh. green room. Oh. He didn't, he didn't cheat. He didn't cheat. But did you get this woman's phone number? No. You didn't? No, I didn't. I want you to explain this to me, David. Not only did you, uh, we think you gave her the uh, one her phone number, you also sent her text messages. You lousy son of a baby! Here's the first text message. Hello, Bella. It's me, David. We just met. Oh, my God, Bella, I really wish I could kiss you. You did that. Do you really like me, that. or are you playing? If you and I hooked up, would you let me... Uh, 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 uh. David! You're set. You are set. You also I sent something to that woman. Uh, yeah, see? A, see? A picture. A picture. You... What is the picture of? Picture of that the manscaping. That's the what it was. The south. So after you sent that photo, you didn't want to do anything in the green room. David went outside uh, with the decoy, and this is what happened. You got a picture. I saw you in their building. No way. Stop it. Let's take a look at the one. Here are the lie detector results. We asked you, did you use the two condoms that Lisa found to have sexual intercourse with another woman? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. I did. You, you can't I lie. did not. You can't lie. Okay. We asked you, did you have sexual intercourse with the neighbor you were slipping I love you lollipops to? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. Sean, look, you came here for a reason, all right? You found out the truth. Your mother's fine with it. She'll move on. You'll move on. Don't worry about it, okay? All right? David's literally locked himself into a corner. Can I come in? And you won't believe what happens when the door is unlocked. Hello? Where are you? This woman wants to know why her man bought this sexy lingerie. How hard this? For her sister. No, 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 no. Two sisters. And one huge act of betrayal is about to be revealed. Relationships are put to the ultimate test. A lie detector test. Everyone, this is Arnisha. Welcome, Arnisha, to the show. And backstage is Arnisha's boyfriend, Jeremiah. Now, up until recently, Arnisha believed Jeremiah was the perfect boyfriend. He took her out, he showered her with gifts. He was loving and caring. But apparently all that changed when Jeremiah began doing all of those things for another woman. Arnisha's sister, Eunithus. On Arnisha's birthday, Jeremiah brought, you know, a, a present home. Uh, it was great, except it wasn't for Arnisha. It was for her sister. 
What did he buy her? Mari, on my birthday, I was supposed to get the gift. It's my birthday. I was supposed to get the lingerie panties, the lingerie outfit, and I was supposed to get the purple. On my birthday, Mari, he bought her this. Mari, he bought her this, Mari, and he bought her some Gucci coat. Purple on my birthday, Mari. And if they are cheats, dismiss both of you. This is what Jeremiah had to say. When Anisha told me that her sister house had burnt down and she was moving in, I was cool with that because she found me. But I never thought her moving in would cause all this drama. I admit, I like hanging out with you niggas. We go to the movies, play basketball, but we're not sleeping together. I did buy you niggas a gift on Anisha's birthday. I did buy her yellow lunch ray and some perfume just to make Anisha mad. It was just a joke. Anisha think I'm sleeping with other women too, but it's not happening. This situation has turned our house on to a mess, and I'm sick of it. Bring him out, Maury! Everybody, here's Bring Jeremiah. him out, Maury! Bring him out, Maury! Y'all don't know me, man. Y'all don't know me. What up, Maury? You know what I'm saying, man? Ain't nothing happening, dog. Ain't nothing happening, man. Look at you, man. Jeremiah, you love this woman. Yeah, no, I do. No, yeah, you I do. No, you don't. How you figure that, Jeremiah? You want to do what you do. You want to went to the movies with her. You want to be in the bathroom with her. If you love me, you man, love me. Oh, God. Ain't nothing like Here that. Here is Unetheus, okay? Here she is. I want to talk to you, Nathan, yeah, okay? Good, I want to talk to her. You wouldn't do that to your sister. No, that's my sister. I love my she sister. Lied. That's my love sister. The same thing I said. The same thing I said to him. The same thing on the same thing. If you love me, you would not do that. Well, she said. And if, if you love me, you wouldn't choose me sleeping with him. She says she's not doing it. And we're, Lord, we're that's a find, lie. Before we read these results, I want to tell you. Jeremiah went into the green room last night. He wasn't in there with one decoy. He was in there with two decoys. Take a look at that. Really sexy? Really sexy? right here. Let's read. Because you want to hear about your sister, don't yes. you? Huh? That's important. Yes, that is. may be the most important. We uh -huh. asked you, during your relationship with Arnisha, have you had sexual intercourse with another woman she doesn't know about? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie more than two women. When Eunetheus was in the tub and you walked into the bathroom, were you trying to see her naked? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. Oh, no. Hey, hey, you gotta read it. Keep on. We asked you, have you ever hit on Arnisha's sister, Unethia? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. Oh, no, Have you had sexual intercourse with Unethius? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. Administered, he admitted to me that they had sex one time. It was before she started accusing him of having sex. They did have it already. I was finna cry, but I thought about it. I'm a woman. My mama told me better than that.
sit, sit. She didn't tell me nothing, Maury. She, she didn't tell me nothing. She told me that was not slipping together. She would not do me like that, because that's my little get away from Listen, me. Listen, man, come here. Yeah, I have been already had told you that. No, no you did. You, you did not tell me that. Yes, I did. You, you told me that. You told me that. What would we come on this show if you told yes, me you that? Call me on here. You no. know that. You no. know that. No, I did. No, I did. You got what you wanted. Michelle wants to know why her best friend said she slept with her husband and then took it back. Tells me she didn't sleep with him. She fantasizes about him. A marriage is on the line. That girl is addicted to sex. And the lie detector results are in. David was just caught red-handed kissing one of our sexy people. I knew it! Now, he's locked himself in the corner of the studio. Can I come in? And you won't believe what happens when the door is unlocked. Hello? Where are you? Relationships are put to the ultimate test. A lie detector test. Everyone, this is Michelle. Welcome, Michelle. To the now, backstage is Michelle's best friend, Krista. After falling on hard times, Michelle invited Krista to live with her and her husband, Mitchell. Aww. So, how do you think Krista repaid this kindness? Michelle believes by sleeping with her husband, Mitchell. Aww. And one night in a drunken stupor, Krista confessed to having sex with Mitchell. Aww. But then she, so she sobered up and took it back. <laughs> but there are other reasons why Michelle believes Mitchell's cheating. Watch. Chris is my best friend. She's like a sister to me. When she didn't have nowhere to go, I told her to move in. I think she took that invitation as an invitation to sleep with my husband, Mitchell. Krista confessed to me that she slept with my husband, and then she takes it back and tells me she was just fantasizing about him. Who says that? I have two children with this man. He's everything to me. I don't sleep. I'm always wondering what he's doing. I can't take this if this comes back. That I really believe what it is. I'm going, bottom line. She admitted to being with him and then she took it back the next day? Yeah, okay. She got drunk one night and she told me that she had sex with my husband. And I said, what? Okay, and I said, you know what, don't talk no more to me. Don't even, don't even open your mouth toward me until you sober up. Well, then she writes in a letter, a letter, okay? And tells me that she didn't sleep with him. She fantasizes about him. Oh! Yeah. Mitchell says he goes fishing. That's his excuse to leave. To, to be able to get out and get away from me because how I'm not lying. In, I, how I'm early in the morning does he tell you he's going? Oh, it's every morning. I wake up, we're fighting. But you know, people who fish, they go out early in the morning. Oh, okay, where's the fishing pole? <laughs> oh, what the hell? Okay. This is what Mitchell had to say. <laughs> I'm desperate for this test. I'm tired of walking around on eggshells in my own home. Michelle is the love of my life and mother of my children. Michelle thinks I would betray her by sleeping with her best friend, Krista. But I know if I slept with her, my family would be destroyed. And I'm not willing to lose them for any woman. When I heard Chris fantasized about me, I was disgusted. I couldn't imagine him even thinking about doing anything with that girl or her even fantasizing about doing anything with me in that fact. Michelle also believes that I've cheated on her with other friends and also with other women. I would never do anything to jeopardize my family or anything like that to that matter. I'm here to save my marriage and to make it clear that I've never slept with Krista or any other woman. I love my wife. All right, everybody, here's Mitchell. Mitchell, come on up. You wouldn't embarrass and humiliate her by sleeping with her friend, would you? No, never. Wouldn't do that. See, here's the thing, Mitchell. Those of, there are a lot of us who like to fish, you know? We get up and we have the security of our loved ones and the uh, trust of our loved ones that when we say we're going fishing, we're going fishing! I do go fishing. I got three poles in the back of my vehicle right now. He goes fishing with poles that he broke in half. The fishing poles are broken half. Okay, it don't take much. And like you say, I go out there without no bait. Where I'm from Arkansas, so uh, in the state of Arkansas, it's still legal to snag. I can go out there and snag all day long if I want to. I ain't got to have bait. All I need is a weight. All right, everybody, 
Here's Michelle's best friend, Krista. You really made a bad mistake when you got drunk that night, huh? Yes, I did. You were lucky I didn't beat your ass on the spot. <laughs> I only did that once. I'm like, that still hurt me. That still hurt me. Are you me. attracted to him? No, I'm not. Then why do you fantasize about me? I only did that once. Okay, well, you still have fantasies about me, so you must see some attraction in me. Yeah. If she took you in, the kindness of her heart to take you in, you would not go and do that to her, right? No, I wouldn't do that to her, even if I didn't live with her. I, I love her. She's living here because look what she does. She's, She's nothing else. Right. Because guess what? We gave, we gave Mitchell and Krista lie detector tests. <laughs> We asked you, Mitchell, when Michelle came home and found you in bed wearing boxers and Krista naked in the bathroom, were you having any type of sexual contact with Krista? You said no. The lie detector test determined a marriage is on the line. And the lie detector results are next. David was just caught red-handed kissing one of our sexy people. I knew it! Now, he's locked himself in the corner of the studio. Can I come in? And you won't believe what happens when the door is unlocked. Hello? Where are you? Relationships are put to the ultimate test. A lie detector test. Chris is my best friend. She's like a sister to me. When she didn't have nowhere to go, I told her to move in. I think she took that invitation as an invitation to sleep with my husband, Mitchell. Krista confessed to me that she slept with my husband, and then she takes it back and tells me she was just fantasizing about him. Who says that? And then one night, I found Krista butt-ass naked in my bathroom with my husband in his underwear. Chris is a hoe, and she knows she's a hoe. Michelle is the love of my life and mother of my children. Michelle thinks I would betray her by sleeping with her best friend, Krista. But I know if I slept with her, my family would be destroyed. That still hurt me. Are you me. attracted to him? No, I'm not. Then why do you fantasize about me? I only did that once. Okay, well, you still have fantasies about me, so you must see some attraction in me. Because guess what? We gave, we gave Mitchell and Krista lie detector tests. <laughs> we asked you, Mitchell, are you bored with your sex life with Michelle? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. Are you serious? That's not, no, what are you serious? Whatever. We asked you, have you ever propositioned any of Michelle's friends? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. Of course. We asked you, did Krista initiate a sexual relationship with you? You said yes. The lie detector test determined you're telling the truth. We asked you when Michelle came home and found you in bed wearing boxers and Krista naked in the bathroom, were you having any type of sexual contact with Krista? You said no. The lie detector test determined you're telling the truth. We asked you, during your relationship with Michelle, have you any, had any type of sexual contact with Krista? You said no. The lie detector test determined you're telling the truth. And for Krista, for Krista, we asked you, have you ever, have you ever hit on Mitchell? You admitted you did. We asked you, is the only reason you haven't slept with Mitchell because he won't sleep with you? You said no, and the lie detector test determined that was a lie. Are you no, you're not. No, if they did not have sex. Okay, but you still <laughs> someone. <laughs> you still fucking someone. You knew you knew you knew we were split up. I slept with that one chick, but that was when we were split up. And yeah, and you're the one yeah, who cheated on me. Is the cab driver Jennifer fell in love with faithful? He seems to be driving a lot of women. What happened to the man? What happened to you taking that man? Or is his meter about to run out? The results are next. Relationships are put to the ultimate test. A lie detector test.
Paris, he means the world to me. He means everything, and I'm hurting right now because of what I think he's doing to me. I know my man is riding more than his cab around town, and I am sick of it. I'm sick, and I'm tired of discovering these women's earrings, bracelets, and diaper bags inside of my man's car. We are about to bring Clarence's taxi cab confessions to light. One time, you answered your phone, and it was a butt dial. <gasps> I don't want to phone having sex. She moaning. She off. I'm a cab driver working in this industry. You got to be sociable. I have the most beautiful woman at home. And when you love somebody, you got to be able to trust her. Her mind is playing tricks on her. And this craziness needs to stop today. Here we go. We got the results. Are you ready? Oh, wow. We asked you, during your relationship with Jennifer, have you ever used your job as a cab driver to have sexual intercourse with another woman? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. No. That's we a asked lie. you, did you have sexual intercourse with another woman? We asked you, did you have sexual that. intercourse with a woman who Jennifer you heard on her voicemail? Ask, by the way, you know that, you, but, you remember that? I can't believe it. Ain't no, you better stop playing with me. Uh, you can't believe it. We asked, did you have intercourse with the woman who Jennifer heard on her voicemail ask for a condom on the day of her cousin's funeral? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Oh, 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 oh. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. But that was the TV. I knew it. That was the TV. But that was the TV. No. Jennifer, were you yeah. having sexual intercourse with another woman during the three days you went missing? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Oh. We asked you during your relationship with Jennifer. One more. One more. <laughs> we asked you during your relationship with Jennifer, have you ever paid for any sexual contact with a prostitute? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. No. <laughs> Test. That's crazy. No, no, no. Every everyone, I want you to talk to my counselor, Stephen, sorry, before man. you go home. Come on. All right, Clarence, you got a lot of apologizing to do. Yeah. <laughs> David was just caught red-handed kissing one of our sexy people. I know it all. Now he's locked himself in the corner of the studio. Can I come in? And you won't believe what happens when the door is unlocked. Hello? Where are you? Relationships are put to the ultimate test. A lie detector test. Earlier, Lisa suspected her longtime lover David was cheating because of his new grooming habits. David shaved somewhere he's never shaved before. He said he wanted it all fancy dancy for me down there. Not only was David determined to prove he's been faithful to Lisa. You love her? I love her with all my heart. He also needed to prove it to Lisa's son, Sean. How do you get along with Sean here? In plain English, he's a piece of garbage. <laughs> You're a piece of but you don't any have any hard evidence. You've never seen him with a woman, have no, you? No, she never has. Oh, no. At that moment, Lisa and everyone else saw hidden camera video footage of David kissing one of our sexy decoys. <laughs> Extra security was needed to restrain Sean. Mom knew it. Mom knew it. Executive producer Paul Fallhaber went to find David, who was literally locked in a corner. Can I come in? And no one was prepared for what would happen when the door was unlocked. Hello? What everyone found. What's happening, man? Was David sitting quietly staring at the wall? Have you been living a lie all these years? Is that what's bothering you right now? That sort of the gigs up? You feel bad? 
I'm gonna leave you alone here for a minute, okay? I think you've been living a double life that I think you're tired of living. What happened to David and Lisa after they went home? Our producer spoke to Lisa, who says her relationship with David is over. We also spoke to David, who swears he has stopped all manscaping in an effort to win Lisa back. Keep watching Mari every day for updates. Until next time, America. The emotion starts right now on Mari. Rose truly believes she has psychic power. And those powers say that her husband has been cheating with her own mother. And maybe even men. If this test proves that I was right all along, no, this all but us. No, 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 no. The tarot card. Yes, You're Mari. psychic. Yes, I you, am. You... I'm cheating, I'm cheating. I am not! You're sleeping crazy. with her mother. That's disgusting! Will he pass the lie detector test? Have you ever had sex with Rose's mother? Go for it, Murphy! The lie detector test determined. Although they are physically opposite, they fell in love and just got married. We were childhood sweethearts. He even took my virginity. But this love story will end today if she finds out he's been cheating. You love this woman. I love my wife. You, you want a little skinny model, girl. I you need love to get you. a little will model. Well, read you. the test results. My detective determined. Now you're Morgan fears that David is cheating on her with her own 17-year-old sister, Mella. That's why I'm here, so all y'all can see, I'm not doing nothing wrong. Morgan, I have a confession to make to you. <laughs> Everyone, this is Rose. Now, Rose has been with her husband, Joseph, for 16 years. They have five adorable kids. But now, Rose fears that she's committed her life to a man who cheats. Oh. Here's the deal. Rose truly believes she has psychic powers. Oh. And, and those powers say that her husband has not only been cheating with several women, but with her own mother oh. and... Maybe even men, who knows? Listen. I've been married 16 years to Joseph, and I have five beautiful kids. And now deep down in my heart, I know he's cheating on me. I've been reading tarot cards for more than 20 years, and my tarot cards always tell me when Joe's having sex with another woman. I believe that Joseph has had sex with my own mother, and I think that he has been sleeping with men too. I have found stains on my husband's underwears. I also find blonde hair all the time on my husband. If this test proves that I was right all along, no, this all but us. No, 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 no. It's bye-bye, Joseph, because this senorita save us. No more. Wow. Cards. Nice tarot cards. You're Marie. psychic. Yes, I you, am. You can figure it out. Yes, I can. In fact, th certain things happen to you when he's out. What, what happens? To I you? get all kind of feelings. Right? He's with a girl. Right? I feel my butt. <laughs> when, he's with butt. when he's thinking of a woman or he's doing something, I can feel my breast itching. Oh, when he's when no, he's no, doing Rose, somebody, Rose, my teeth thumb. Oh, really? Oh my God, Murray. When he's doing something, Murray, my itching. <laughs> feelings okay do you love this man i love him to oh my god to death really? to death murray really i gave you... him five kids 
That's enough. That's enough to show and him I love him. And you think... Look at my five kids. Beautiful. But you Beautiful. Also, you also think he has another child. Well, I think so, because I was reading my cards like I do oh, every no, month no, 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 to no, find no. out what's going on. Right. And all of a sudden, this brand new baby comes out on one of my cards. It ain't me, baby. Now, get to the big thing. Your own mother? My mom. I can't believe it. I hear so many you've rumors. Never see, you've never seen them anywhere, have No, you? but I'm hearing so many rumors, and I want to know. All right. I, I want to know. You ever ask your mother? Yes, I did. She doesn't want to confront me. And it hurts me. And then, and then, he's sleeping with guys. I don't know. Your husband. I don't know. He's hanging out all day with guys from 5 o'clock in the afternoon till 10 o'clock in the morning. He comes back the next day. He's telling me where he's with. Murray, he's with his friends, Murray. Yeah. Yeah, well, then, damn, there must be some good friends that be there all the time. I have evidence on his pants. I got evidence on his pants. You don't even know. I bought a machine. Uh, what do you I mean? I bought a machine. What is a machine? My machine detects sperm. <laughs> My machine detects... <laughs> My detects blood. It detects anything that has to do with anything on her underwear. I go into... Murray, I go into a little room, right? All dark. I take my little underwears that I find from him that I'm gonna wash, and I go like this, all right? And it tells me that there is his little lusty, lusty <laughs> Yeah, boy. Your mother, a friend of mine, I can call them. A friend of yours has a baby. I mean, he's got the, he's got everything no, going No, he's here. this papi chulo. He wants to be a papi chulo. <laughs> you know? I think we, we, we understand Rose, right? Yeah. <laughs> this is what her husband, Joseph, has to feel about these accusations. Oh, Why? Rose, I love you, Mommy. I will never cheat on you. I love you and my family. Just because you think you're a psychic and you have a twitching here and a twitching in your ear, you think I'm cheating on you. You are crazy. I will never cheat with your mother. That's nasty, disgusting. Coo -coo. I'm tired of you judging me and telling me I've been sleeping with men. Rose, I'm not cheating on you. I'm tired of you being judging me all of the time. I'm cheating, I'm cheating. I am not. That's your husband. That's my husband. You love your husband. Oh, yeah, I love him. I'm gonna beat his ass if he don't come out right today. Sit down. Sit down. He's crazy. Just be judging and judging and judging. You're sleeping with her mother. It's okay. That's disgusting. <laughs> you know, it, it, it's wrong. I and just, her you know, teeth chatters and her mouth goes crazy because, and her breasts do things. Those are the feelings I get, Murray, when he walks outside and he goes outside through the door. These are all the feelings that I get. Once he walks outside, I say, look, I pick up the phone. What are you doing? What are you doing? My butt hits. What are you doing? <laughs> Messing with her mother, are you? You better hope you're not, man. I I'm never did. Your... Right in front of you Do you have another child she doesn't know about? I hope not. Are you messing with guys? No, you crazy? No, 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 no. Well, guess what? We have the results right here, okay? Okay, Have you ever had sex with a man? You said no. The lie detector test determined that's the truth. Yeah. Have you ever had sex with Rose's mother? Believe that. Go for it, Murray. Go for it, because I'm going to knock your ass off that. Years for this to know if he did with uh, my I mother. I didn't know you're a lefty. I didn't know. All that. Right. 
Have you ever had sex with Rose's mother? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was the truth. Before we reveal the rest of the lie detector results, last night we put Joseph into the green room. Oh! The was that our special undercover special ops investigator, David Talley, set up a hidden camera in one of the green rooms with a buddy decoy. Oh! And he was a man posing as another guest, and then Joseph talked about some things, and he also talked... <laughs> to a female decoy that we had there as well. Watch. Yeah, her beautiful wife, you know, she's beautiful. Uh, you know, but nothing, you know, I don't mean because... She talks anyway, it don't matter. I don't know. I like white When you go to a club, that's like every time you go to a club, you come out with two or three girls, you know. That's kissing the here, kissing the here. Such a here, Oh my God. Two of them was in Puerto Rico. What? Two what? Two yeah, two chicks. But then um, I got married with her two years ago. And then after I got married, something happened with another chick there. But it wasn't nothing personal. I don't know. I just did it. Was it easy to get him to talk about this stuff? He was talking about so much stuff in that room to like a perfect stranger. So God only knows what he's saying to people that he knows. You know, about you. Yeah. Here are the rest. So you like to so you're just you like talking. touching you're clubs and stuff? He's just no, no, talking. No, 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 huh? No, 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 no. How about no, no. if I start doing that there then? Was, no, no, huh? no, 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 no. How about yeah, if no. I start doing that That's then? That's not an issue here. Look, look. Huh? How about if I start doing it? Rose and not get caught, would you? Oh, that's kind of rough. You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. <laughs> Did you cheat on Rose with one of her friends? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. <laughs> Do you have any other children besides the five you have with Rose? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. <laughs> what? Rose, he definitely thinks he has a baby on the street. By the way, he failed my test. And, and also, you know Rose. I believe you. And because you've been taking money. You've been hiding money from me. And these. In the past seven years, you cheated on Rose. You admitted in our hidden camera you've cheated with three women, but the lie detector test determined you cheated with more than five. I take the test again. Years, I will take the test again. I will take the test again. I will do it again. Because I know the what I do. And I never cheat you with five liar. women. Liar. I never cheat you with liar. five women. You out. Never. 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 And when I get home. <laughs> Although they are physically opposite, they fell in love and just got married. We were childhood sweethearts. He even took my virginity. But this love story will end today if she finds out he's been cheating. You love this woman? I love my wife. You, you want a little skinny model, girl? I need love to get you. a little model. You well, you read the you. test results. My detective determined. Morgan fears that David is cheating on her with her own 17-year-old sister, Mella. Morgan, I have a confession to make to you. <laughs> who is lying and who is telling the truth? This is Nakisha. Welcome, Nakisha. And 
This is Nikisha's newlywed husband, Richard. Yeah, that's me. Hey, how y'all doing? So you can see, physically, these are opposite people. But their love has formed the perfect union. Until now. Because Nikisha's convinced that Richard is having sex with other women. In fact, last month, Richard came home with mysterious hickeys on his private parts. What's even more painful is Nikisha fears that Richard regrets marrying her. Watch. I can't get the idea of my husband, Richard, cheating out of my head. I think about it every single day because I deserve better than what he's doing to me. I fell in love with him 15 years ago. We were childhood sweethearts. He even took my virginity from me. But now I think Richard is embarrassed by me. He walks behind me in the stores. And I just don't think he wants to be seen with me because of my weight. Richard has come home with marks on his private parts. He also has come home smelling like another female and sex and says it's for me, but it's not. I don't know what I do if I find out he's been cheating on me. I don't know if our marriage will last. All of a sudden you find Mark's Yes, he come home and he told me, he said, oh baby, I was so drunk, my zipper, my penis got uh, zipped up in my, uh, yeah. A zip? Was up to no good. Um, we, like I said, we just got married, and he would come home. He comes home on Thursdays. He gives me money, Mari, and then next thing you know, he's gone for two or three days at a time, and then he comes home. You think there's one woman in particular he's having sex with? Yes, I think I've met this lady. Um, how about I went to his family house to pick him up, and this young girl come out talking about what you doing here? He ain't ready to go. You gotta come back. I don't know, Mari. I'm, try I'm here today to find out if my husband is cheating on me. So, so we all want to hear what your husband has to say. This is what Richard has to say. Nikisha, I would never, ever, ever jeopardize our marriage for another woman. I know you think I'm not attracted to you anymore, but I go to work every day, come home, clean and cook. I just can't jump in the bed and hump, hump, hump all the time. You found a woman's phone number in my wallet. I guess one of my friends was playing a joke on me. You know how guys are, baby. Practical joker. I feel like I'm not being appreciated enough for doing all the things that I'm doing for you. You are my heart, and I do not care about your side. I love you. Here's Richard. You love this woman. I love my wife. I really do, but I'm You all just got back after years, right? Yeah, but I get tired of being blamed for cheating on her. Because you cheat. are. I am not. You are cheating on me. Girl, well, read the you. test results. I want to know yeah. if you've been cheating. Tell me what the Are you glad you married your wife? Huh? Are you glad you no, married your wife? No, he's ashamed yeah. of me. I'm not he's ashamed, ashamed of me because I'm me. You. you want a little skinny model, girl. You I need love to get you. a little Will model. you stop thinking I don't That's what love you, want, you? But I'm not the Cut one. Cut that out. I'm big, beautiful, and beluscious. Yeah. You mess with your ex girlfriend? No. No, 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 no. I haven't seen them. They're lying. Who's the girl that's. Okay. Yes, Richard. Yeah. Are you still in love with Nikisha? You said yes. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. Yeah. Yeah. I love you. You were asked if you avoid having sex with Nikisha. You said no. The lie detector determined that's a lie. Oh. 
asked if you regret marrying Nikisha. Oh, the lie detector determined. That's a lie. You were asked if when Nikisha says she found marks on your private parts, were they from cheating? You said no. The lie detector determined. That's a lie. You were asked if any woman other than Nikisha, you said no. The lie detector determined that's a lie more than 25 times. That's a, man, that thing ain't reading right. I don't cheat on you, Keisha. Love you. Now, Dr. Gardier is going to comment on this because he just heard this. So yep. go ahead. Should Here's the deal. The deal is stay where I was at. I have to come back. I don't have to come back to this. Keisha, I ain't here to hurt you. I love you. Nikisha, he does love you, but he's got his own personal and emotional issues he's got to work through because he's yeah. sabotaging the relationship and sabotaging his own happiness. I do everything for you, you still though. You're still messing with somebody else. I'm not messing with nobody else. We're back right after this. <laughs> Thank you. Keisha. Don't do this. Keisha. I don't do this. What more you gotta say to me? I ain't cheating. You brought me all the way to New York to cheat on me, you hard! I did not! So tell me the truth. In order for me to forgive you, in order for me to give you a chance to start off, you need to be honest with me right now. I ain't do it that many times. I only did like three times. Now it's three. That's it. Get How long on. you been seeing this girl? Off and on, maybe once a month. Who do you want to be with? I want to be with my baby here. Are you, are you gonna Are you gonna go home and break it off with this girl? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I knew it was something. Now my mama, everybody gotta see that on national TV. It took me to bring you to New York for you to be honest with me. And one thing I knew how things have changed with us. The way we bump and grind four or five times a night, and now it's down to twice a month. I forgive you. I forgave you before you even come clean. Cause that's what love does. It clears all that. But I'm hurt. Morgan fears that David is cheating on her with her own 17-year-old sister, Mella. That's why I'm here, so all y'all can see I'm not doing nothing wrong. Morgan, I have a confession to make to you. <laughs> This is 20-year-old Morgan. She is very sad. You see, five years ago, Morgan fell deeply in love with this man, David. They're, they're raising three children together. They should be perfectly happy. But sadly, that's not the case. You see, Morgan fears that David is cheating on her with several different women, including someone she's very close to. Her own 17-year-old sister, Melanie. My sister means everything to me. She knows I've been cheated on in the past. To think that she would go and do this to me makes me sick. My sister was supposed to come and pick me up one night from work, and she never showed up. When I got home and looked in the window, it looked like he was jumping off the couch that she was on. And when I walked through the door, they both tried to act like they were asleep. I know in my heart that they were doing something. Mine and David's friends said that they seen them together in my mom's truck messing around. If I find out that David's messing with Melanie, it's over. I can't be with them anymore. When, when, when you saw them on the couch, you know, when they were supposed to pick you up and you came home, and they were still in the house, and, and what did you see? It looked like he was jumping off of the couch that she was on, and when I walked in, they both tried to act like they were asleep, but I know I seen them. Oh. I seen them. Did you question him then? I think he's cheating on me with this little girl. Her name is Let's get serious here about your sister. I love your sister, don't you? I love her more than anything in the world. She was like my best friend. They don't admit to anything. You don't believe them. I'm always stuck at home raising the kids by myself. He's always gone and he's not three bringing kids. no money home. You have three yeah, kids? Yeah, three kids. We adopted his sister's kids. We have full custody of his 19-month-old nephew and his 8-year-old niece Aww. and my 4-month-old baby.
He's been cheating on you. What are you going to do? I'm going to have to leave because he can't do this. <laughs> this is what they I love Morgan more than anything in this world. I would never cheat on her, especially not with her sister. Morgan was told I was caught messing around with her sister in her truck. We drive around together all the time. Someone probably just saw that, but nothing was happening. Melanie and I hang around all the time, but we definitely ain't sleeping together. Morgan found scratches on my back a few times, but it's probably from working, not cheating. I would never cross the line this way. And it really hurts me to think that Morgan thinks I would do any of this to her. I would never do anything like this to jeopardize my family or my relationship. Here's David. David, come on out. This woman took in her nephew. Yeah. Adopted them. Yeah. Plus, you all, you all have a baby of your own, too. Yeah. And you know what she just said? Yeah, if you're I'm cheating on her? her. It's, it's said, crazy, Mari. Huh? It's crazy. It's crazy? Yeah. You're not cheating? No, we'll see. Today, we'll see. That's why I'm here. So all y'all can see, I'm not doing nothing wrong. You'll see. You'll see. Sleeping with her sister, Melanie? No, I'm not. I'm not. How about the scratches on the back? I'm a con I work in construction. What do you think? You mean you come home, you <laughs> sometimes. What do you think? I'm not. Now there's, there's the missing piece. Sister Melanie. This is what Melanie had to say. Morgan, sisters shouldn't keep secrets from each other. I have a confession to make to you. I do think that David is cheating on you, but I promise it is not with me. You have to believe me. I love you more than anyone in this whole world, and I would never go behind your back and sleep with David. Here's Melanie. Melanie, come on out. I would never do that. Well, what happened when she came home and found you on the couch? What happened? I was asleep. It was 4 o'clock in the morning. Oh. So, we're going to get the results. But before the results, David, there's something you said you wanted to, to do with Morgan, right? Pass this test today. Hold up. If if he passes these test questions, you will agree to marry him. Is that right? And if he doesn't pass the test questions, I can't do it. I can't. Okay. Here here they come. You were asked if during your relationship with Morgan, if you ever cheated on her with your ex-girlfriend. You said no. The lie detector determined that's a lie. Oh. You were asked if during your relationship with Morgan, have you ever cheated on her with any other woman? You said no. The lie detector determined that's a lie more than 10 times. Oh. You, were asked, you were asked if you were more attracted to Melanie than Morgan. You said no. The lie detector determined that's a lie. <laughs> you were asked if during your relationship with Morgan, have you ever had sexual contact of any kind with si your, her sister, Melanie? You said no. The lie detector determined you were telling the truth.
<laughs> a woman keeps calling Ken's phone, saying she's pregnant with Ken's baby. She young. She believing in what another woman <laughs> Last night, we put Ken in the green room. Bachelor parties exposed. Is this cheating? Yeah, put it right here. The women they're about to marry think it is. Who is lying and who is telling the truth? This is 20-year-old Leola. Now, Leola says she has been providing for her 33-year-old boyfriend, Ken. That's her boyfriend. She's been providing for him since she was 13. She pays the buys the food, she puts the clothes on his back. Everything. And they've been trying to have a baby for years. And Leola says her worst nightmare came true when another woman called and said she was pregnant with Ken's baby. And Leola's petrified that she has dedicated her life to a cheater. Watch this. I met my boyfriend, Ken, when I was 13 years old. I loved him with all my heart. I've done everything for Ken. Ken has disappeared for days at a time. He's come home with hickeys. I've even found keys and sunglasses that belongs to another girl. A woman keeps calling Ken's phone, saying she's pregnant with Ken's baby. <laughs> And that same woman says she's been having sex with Ken for over a year now. I'm not going to take this one more day. I'm tired. If I find out that Ken is cheating on me, he can take all the clothes that I bought him and get the hell out of my house. Y'all have been trying to have a baby, haven't you? Yeah, I've been trying for the longest. All of a sudden, what happened? This girl talking about she might be pregnant by him. After all these years, I didn't try. Anybody knows. Anybody knows. Ken had a different version of all this. This is what Ken had to say. Watch. Leola, baby, you know I love you. We've been together for seven years. And today, I want to show you that I haven't been cheating on you. Babe, I know somebody been calling my phone saying that they pregnant, but it's not like that. Babe, I love you, so I wouldn't jeopardize our relationship for nothing. Look, I'm tired of you accusing me of cheating. It's time to be your own lady. Stop listening to what other people say. Here comes Cat. I love her with everything I got. You understand me? It's just like this, little mother. A woman, a woman can drive you crazy with cheating this, cheating this, cheating this, cheating this. Okay? okay? If you hear that, know, if you hear that, morning, but noon, and night, morning, noon, and night, you're morning, gonna end up. Night. You're gonna end up. Damn, obviously, another woman can come do more than her because I ain't gotta hear that with that other woman. You feel what I'm saying? But you ain't here. I love my lady, true enough. Right. Yeah, you feel but what I'm saying? Men, don't to don't, 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 don't know other chick. Somebody else. See, you know what I'm saying? What she did is, she young. She believing in what another woman tell her. What about you feel what I'm saying? Right on the phone, the woman who the called phone call. Yeah. See, the thing is, when another woman have a friendship, it ain't got to be no relationship. Now, wait a second, it's wait a, a second. You know what, baby, last baby, night, glasses. last night, we put Ken in the green room, and what he didn't know is that our undercover special ops investigator, Dave Vitale, set up a hidden camera in one of our green rooms with a buddy decoy who's a man posing as another guest, and Ken also talked to our female decoy as well. I love me a woman, bro. I promise to God it's something about him, dog. I can't keep away. Actually, New Jersey looks just like Eric would do. You understand know I me? Mean? I know we, she got pregnant with me. You know, you're going to go down. Yeah. And I kind of figured that I was at the end right now. I feel, you know, I, I got love for her, but I'm not in love with her. Everybody, 
That's real. That's Sit like out. I got you. I can get that's another real. one. That's real. That's real. You know what? That's real. That's real. Like I said, stay in your place. That's real. All right, here are the results. In the past three years, have you cheated on Leola? You admitted to cheating with more than three women. The lie detector said you cheated with more than ten. <laughs> Will Ken be able to win her back? Approve, Find out Approve. next. Like that, Bachelor parties exposed. Is this cheating? Yeah, put it right here. The women they're about to marry think it is. Maury was brought to you in part by... Last night, we put Ken in the green room. So if you just look just like Eric would do. You understand me? I know when she got pregnant from me. I feel, you know, I, I got love for her, but I'm not in love with her. Did you cheat? A voicemail saying she was having your baby. You admitted that you have cheated with her. So why you made me come all the way to New York? Did the keys that Leola found come from a woman you cheated with? You said no. The lie detector test determined that's a lie. I know. I told you. Have you ever cheated on Leola with a woman in your own house? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. Come on, man. You, you prove what you wanted to prove, just leave. Yeah. It's like this here. It's like this here. He can get out. He can get out. True enough. Can. But let me tell you something. If she want to walk, baby, whoa. You can get out. You understand me? Like that, man. Come on, man. You tripping. Come on, man. You tripping, oh, you dog. tried me. I'm no. Wrong. I'm you tried me. In our house, Ken. Right. Come on, baby. Who? Our Who? house. Who? I don't know. I was Who? gone. Okay, you yeah. probably did when I was Who? gone. Bachelor parties exposed. Is this cheating? Yeah, put it right here. The women they're about to marry think it is. What happens when you mix sexy women, rowdy men, and a lot of alcohol? Hello. Oh. <laughs> what you get is the modern day bachelor party, all right? Here with a behind the scenes look at some of the most scandalous parties ever seen, our old friend Tommy Habib, host of the reality show Staff. Thanks for being here, Tommy. We have Denise and Steve. Now, their romance apparently started out on rocky ground because yeah. he left his ex-girlfriend, who was Denise's best friend, oh. for Denise, right? Uh, there were, I guess, trust issues going in, right? Well, you start down that path where you're already cheating. What right. do you expect? Take a look. My name's Steven. I have a laid-back kind of personality. Steven and I had a lot of trust issues in the beginning. He cheated on my best friend with me. It took me a while to trust him and, and feel comfortable that he's not going to do the same thing to me. Here's to Steve getting married or <laughs> not. not. It was great. Yeah, put it Like I was in my very own crazy porn. You gotta go because you're getting married. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, no. <laughs> I know you like porn, and I know you like Playboy. Yeah. I've got Penny straight from Playboy magazine. This doesn't hurt. Bye, baby. Uh, she can't be happy. Uh, right. Are you kidding me? <laughs> well, let's take a look at what happens when Denise confronts him. Watch everybody. Let's see what happened last night. 
No more girls. Yes, I know, I know. You're in a restaurant holding that girl's hand. You have her phone number? No. Holding hands with some chick in a bar and getting her phone number? No, she wouldn't. Are you kidding me? Put your mouth on this chick's crotch. You have a Playboy model tying you up at your bachelor party. If you think for one second, I would marry you. Talk to me! Two years of my life I waste with you. So, but don't do that. Hey, hey, come. I got your precious porn collection. Let me go, Alice. Come talk to me. I don't know if he's more upset over the porn tapes or losing her. Thanks so much for being here, Tom. Tom we'll be back after this.